Hello fellow space engineers, GopeScope here from the GopeScope Gaming Channel, and I'm happy to welcome you to another episode after having spent a little time away. Today we have something completely new for you. Elon Armitage, founder and CEO of Arclight Driveyards, has invited me to take a look at his new Pioneer Modular Ship System. So far there are 16 modules and a large ship frame, but I am told that there will be a medium and small ship frame coming out of their R&D department very soon. Let's get right into the modules. First, we have the processing module. This section is a jack-of-all-trades module, including a refinery, blast furnace, assembler, some storage, and as with all modules, its own power source. Next we have the assembler module, and this section features substantial storage, as well as three assemblers. As the name would indicate, this module is entirely about assembly. And third, we have the refinery module, featuring two refineries and two blast furnaces, as well as power, storage, and an ore detector. Fourth, we have the small cargo module, which includes not only storage, but also can act as an extension, allowing for other modules to attach to the opposite side. Or this can be used as a defended airlock, as it also features an internal anti-personnel turret. Fifth, we have the large cargo module, which is totally devoted to storage, featuring four large cargo containers and nearly a dozen small. Then we have the solar panel modules. There is a small, medium, and large variant. The small panel features three solar panels, the medium six and the large nine, and each has ample battery support. Modules nine and 10 are the small and large hangar modules. Each features linked and unlinked storage, AP turrets, and cameras for observation and defense, as well as sensor-activated landing lights and docking connectors. Next we have the propulsion module, which features two large thrusters and four gyroscopes providing a significant increase in acceleration and maneuverability when attached to a frame. Modules 12 and 13 are the port and starboard tactical modules, which feature mainly defensive elements. Each has two missile turrets and one gatling turret, as well as a sensor-activated spherical gravity generator which acts as a shield, and a welder-supported heavily armored decoy. Each module features identical systems. The reason there are two is so that the decoys and turrets can be oriented the same way on either side of the ship if they are attached in a symmetrical manner. The 14th module is the offensive weapons module featuring heavy armor, extra gyroscopes, a flight seat, two cameras, and four large rocket launchers. Module 15 is the life support module, featuring everything you'll need to generate oxygen, plants, and water, as well as food to keep you sustained. And the 16th and last module is the habitat module, which features a mess hall, coffee maker, and bunks, an LCD panel, and personal storage, as well as a nice view. If you want to feel like you have a home away from home in space, this module is for you. Now for the large ship frame. Elon tells me that ADY's philosophy is that their frames should contain all of the necessary systems that virtually everyone will want or need, but that the modules should provide all the customization beyond that. With that in mind, the frame has most of the thrust and maneuvering already built into it, as well as power generation needed to support that. It also covers the need for a med bay, gravity generator, and communications equipment, as well as some limited storage and defense. Beyond that, it has docking collars for the various modules that can be attached. Because this is ADY's large ship frame, it can have a total of eight modules directly attached, allowing for a massive variety of possible combinations and configurations of the various modules to meet the needs of the modern pioneer. Arclight Drive Yards has provided me with a prototype ship they have assembled using this system, which they call the Roanoke. This variant features the following modules, small hangar, refinery, assembler, small storage, habitat, two large solar panels, and propulsion modules. This is just one of many examples of possible configurations using these modules in this large ship frame, and as was mentioned before, there will be a medium and small ship frame released at some point in the near future. These modules and this ship frame will be available in the Steam Workshop in the Arclight Drive Yards collection. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more.